Hey guys, Justin Bryan, Southwest Regional Wildlife Biologist for Cabela's. You know, when we start to use these tractors and get them in the field, we're really putting them under stressful conditions. And one thing you want to remember is always to have a daily checklist that before you get in the field, you walk around this tractor, you start to look at things, and you start to understand and make sure that this tractor is still in good functioning condition. Now the first thing you want to look at, and the easiest thing to look at, is to see if there's any fluids that may be dripping from underneath it. Maybe hydraulic fluid, gear fluid, engine oil fluid. And it's just easy enough just to kneel down, see if anything's puddling up. If nothing's puddling up, if you're in good shape. But if the instance does occur that you do have some puddling, you need to figure out where it's coming from and address that issue quickly so that your tractor remains functioning well and can get the job done. Now the next thing we need to look at is actually under the hood. You need to remove the drill guard here, just bend it forward and lift the hood. And the first thing that comes to your attention is the radiator screen. As you can tell, our radiator screen's full of a little bit of dirt and quite a bit of grass. Fortunately, here in Southwest Texas, we're dealing with more of a dust issue. When you see me plowing or you see me disking, I have a lot of dust blowing up on this tractor. And I need to make sure that the radiator itself doesn't get hot. Now it's easy enough just to pull this screen up, work it out, continue to pull it up so that it comes out. And you can notice there's quite a bit of dust and quite a bit of grass on it. We can easily just roll that off. Okay, so once you get this radiator screen good and clean, it doesn't take a lot to get it clean, but you want to make sure it's clean. Once it's done, just simply place it back in its area and you're good to go. Now once the radiator screen's done, simply move back here to the air filter itself. And I know just from based on experience and be out here running around, plowing and disking, this air filter is going to be extremely dirty. And we want the air filter, obviously, to be clean. This is a good example of how much dust can build up on the filter itself. So you just want to take it out over an area. You can just slightly pound it out and just get that dust out. And you can tell down here we've got a really fine dust in this area. Now, a general daily cleaning, obviously this wouldn't be as dusty as it is. What we want to do is go ahead and just replace this filter itself. And if you notice on this tractor, it's also got an inner filter, and it's by no means as dirty as that outer filter was, but we're going to go ahead and replace both of them just to have some good maintenance. So get rid of the old one, just pop the inner one right back in. Get it good and set in there. Come back with a nice clean filter, which you can tell, here's the difference between a dusty one, here's the difference of a clean one. We want our filter to look like this if we can have it daily. So that's part of just keeping it clean, going through your daily checklist. Pop it on there, lock everything back in. Now as soon as you're done with the air filter, you can easily move over here to the engine oil itself. We have our dipstick located right here, which it's easy to get to. We want to make sure, one, that we have oil in there, and two, that that oil is clean. And we can see here we've got a nice clean golden oil that little black knob on the end of it is just an indicator. But we have some really nice clean oil in that and that's just an indication that we changed the oil the other day. We know that it's in good shape and we're keeping this engine running adequately. Now from there we can go to the hydraulic fluid that's back here in the rear. And it's simple, simple change, simple check just as well. We have an area right here. We can check that hydraulic fluid. We notice that it's there. It's clean, there wasn't anything, I didn't see any pieces of little metal or anything in there that could possibly be in there. So once you have that hydraulic fluid check, if you're in good condition at the rear of the tractor, just come back up here, get everything tightened back up, put the hood down, lock in your grill guard, put the pin in, you're good to go. Go to cabelas.com forward slash WLM for more info about wildlife and land management and go more in depth with all the tractors, implements and products that Cabela's has to offer.